Well, I think it's really important because we're training the next generation of pharmacists, and when they come out of school, they're going to jump into this world of comparative effectiveness research and quality performance measurement, and they really have to know what that is and what the expectations are of them. So they really need to be able to read the literature well, um, look at a study and be able to identify what, what kind of design was used here and what are the best characteristics of that kind of design and did this study meet up to those best characteristics? It, did they use best practices? And that way uh, a new graduate, when they're a new practitioner, will be able to evaluate that literature and incorporate it into their decision making. And they can do that best if they've really been trained in comparative effectiveness research and the study designs while they've been in school and not be learning it on the fly after they're out of school or not um, just regarding that literature because they don't really know what it is and how to interpret it well. I think most of the schools now have um, pretty good coursework that they offer in research and study designs in epidemiology. And one of the things that we're doing at the University of Maryland is we're using the comparative effectiveness research collaborative tool that they offer online. Um, we're using that as the basis for training the students in how to do a good evaluation of the literature, how to use that tool and become comfortable with it so that when they're practitioners, they'll know what's available to them in, in their toolbox that they can go to uh, and use those things to make really good decisions uh, based on the best evidence that they have available to them. Uh, the CER Collaborative is made up of a group of uh, researchers and practitioners who come from the Academy of Managed Care Pharmacy, the International Society for Pharmacoeconomics and Outcomes Research, and the National Pharmaceutical Council. Those three organizations formed a collaborative to help uh, develop tools and resources that practitioners could use so that they can make the best use of the evidence that's out there. The tools allow someone who's about to evaluate a study and to make a determination about whether or not they can use that study. Um, and they, it, it lets them walk through a series of questions about what they've read in that study, about the information that's included, to help them evaluate how, uh, how, they, how they might be able to incorporate that study into their decision making. And they use that based on two main characteristics that are embedded in the tool. The tool looks at the relevance of the study for the decision that that person is about to make, how relevant uh, is the information, is the population, the setting, all of those kinds of things, the comparisons that were, that were done. And then it also makes the, uh, uh, it also asks questions based on the credibility of the study and how rigorous it was. So combining the relevance and the credibility, the tool walks the user through that series of questions and it helps them determine whether or not this is a study that they should rely on heavily or maybe um, you know, take with a, with, with a grain of salt or not use at all. I mean, it's something that they have to gauge um, based on, what, on the information that's in the study and, and how the tool guides them through it.